सो हाई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव जस्ट इंजॉयड दिस सेशन ऑफ द आई नई सी टी सो दिस टाइम वी हैड अ न्यू पैटर्न ऑफ आई नई सेट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एंशियस बिफोर गोइंग फॉर एग्जाम बट दिस टाइम द पेपर वॉज मॉडरेट डूएबल एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सर्जरी सर्जरी वॉज रियली वेरी 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 ईजी ऑल द क्वेश्चन विच वर आज देर वॉज नथिंग लाइक अ वेरी वियर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो ऑल द क्वेश्चन वर ईजी एंड लेट एस हैव अ क्विक रिकॉल लेट मी टेल यू बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस डिस्कशन दैट ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन वॉट यू पीपल हैव सजेस्टेड टू अर्स दे आर नॉट द ओरिजिनल क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आई हैव नॉट गिवन द पीपल सो डोंट uh just get uh, you can say surprise if you think that this was not written in the question that was there and do comment in the comment section below what was the exact question if you think the question was a bit different from what you anticipated so we had a question on the incisions and uh, let me tell you about the incision that was actually along the groin a curved incision towards the groin people were telling something like this so if you talk about the options given amongst them so this is cockers the right subcostal incision that we go for the gall bladder surgery so this is cockers when we talk about the other incisions this is uh, maillard incision when we talk about maillard incision it's a transverse incision so in low transverse incision is maillard we also have one of incision as robson's incision so a paramedial incision towards the zephy this is what is a robson incision this is maillard incision then we have an incision which is known as gibson incision curved incision going 1 cm above the you can say inguinal ligament and this is a gibson incision which we use for actually ureters so ureteric surgeries we use this gibson incision and this is what is the you can say the answer next is let us talk about there was a question which of the following is a contraindication for liver transplant in case of secondaries to the liver so breast cancer melanoma rcc and rectal cancer remember colorectal cancers so colorectal cancers with liver mets with liver mets is a known entity and remember here the transplant can be done easily so remember it is the rectal cancers or colorectal cancers which is the answer amongst the options provided so c is the most probable answer here next is bile duct injury so we must have heard of and i have actually in the rapid revision also i have already discussed about this so there is a classification which is known as bismuth strasburg classification so now if you see bismuth is also there strasburg is also there but bismuth is for the strictures and the strasburg classification is for the injury so if you talk about this bismuth strasburg a b c d they are for the what injury and e is for the stricture so this is the answer for this is strasburg is for bile duct injury and the bismuth part is for the strictures now then again in this exam it was very surprising that we had lot of questions from the you can say the liver part the gall bladder part we had lot of questions from the git this time the patient with cholecystectomy on on histopath the specimen was found to be a cagb with invasion into the muscularis so remember t1a is into the mucosa t1b in is into the submucosa remember submucosa is not there that is what is known as muscularis mucosae muscularis mucosae it is t2b which is actually perimuscular perimuscular t3 is into the liver so remember this is what is very 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 important if this is a t1b and above tumor if it is a t1b and above tumor the only 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 management is radical cyst cholecystectomy radical cholecystectomy so when we talk about radical cholecystectomy what do you mean by this radical cholecystectomy removal of the gall bladder and along with that 2 cm wide local excision of the what gall bladder fossa this is important remember if this is not there then you will actually go for extended uh, cholecystectomy what is extended cholecystectomy it is nothing but cholecystectomy with resection of 4b and segment 5 this is extended so this patient has to undergo a repeat surgery and here you will go for a wide excision next is which of the following are used to manage hyperthyroidic crisis except so these drugs you know thyroid thyroid storm 
we have propanolol to control the rate and the rhythm lugol cyodine to induce a negative reinforcement acetaminophen to reduce the temperature and aspirin is contraindicated why because it will increase the free iodine you can say free t4 and free t3 why because it decreases the binding of the thyroid hormone with the protein so it will increase the free uh, you can say thyroid levels and therefore it will worsen the scenario so aspirin is actually contraindicated here now again a question on burn i don't know whether it is an exact recall burn involving the chest and the abdomen so anterior part of the chest and the abdomen this is going to contribute to what 18 percent then the right leg the right leg someone was saying a well circumscribed burn over the thigh i don't know whether what is right right leg both front and back it hardly matters so it is six and also the right arm this is what is again very 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 important so right arm so when we talk about this let us take it to be 9 18 plus 9 27 and 27 plus 6 at least it should be somewhere around 33 percent so the best probable answer i would have marked as d that is 36 percent now which is the most important prognostic factor in case of the you can say breast cancer so remember it is the lymphovascular invasion and therefore lymph node status is more important than the tumor size this is what is very important so nodal status is very 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 important when we talk about the ERPR status this is the most important prognostic factor in case of metastatic cancer so this is what is the classical difference that we have now there was one question on adrenal gland so this is a one liner question what is the color yes it is yellow in color remember left adrenal is near to the pancreas as you know that this is the crescentric shape adrenals and here you have the spleen so this is how the adrenals are arranged so yes it is close to the tail of the pancreas the right adrenal is actually pyramidal in shape it is not a semilunar organ so remember this is wrong and of course they are retroperitoneal so this is what is very 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 simple question very simple question that we have so the option c is incorrect here gallbladder cancer all are except the high risk factor remember salmonella typhi carriers it is the porcelain gallbladder it is the stones so gallstone giant stones more than three centimeter polyp less than one centimeter no polyp more than what one centimeter porcelain gallbladder and primary sclerosing cholangitis is also what is not so polyp less than one centimeter are not increasing the risk of malignancy remember this is now a bit controversial when you talk about a uh, higher level even the polyps more than seven centimeter in the asian race or specifically in the indians they are a high risk factor anyways i would have marked b as the answer here now the best diagnostic method for parathyroid adenoma you know sista mib sista mib dual isotope scan dual isotope scan and what is the dual isotope it is technetium 99 sista mib is far better than the sista mib alone remember here i would have given more priority to the spect also but the spect alone is not useful it should have been sista mib spect so remember technetium 99 sista mib scan is the most 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 you can say sensitive test amongst the option given below a non-reducible swelling with pain lateral and below the pubic tubercle so remember pain is there below and lateral to the pubic tubercle so this is a potential site for what hernia femoral hernia what is the diagnosis the x-ray also shows obstruction what is the diagnosis strangulated inguinal hernia no it is strangulated femoral hernia very easy question very easy question most of the questions are straightforward from the notes if you see i have i always give an algorithm and this is a very common thing that it is below and lateral or it is medial and above let us move forward a patient and we have already discussed this question female with ca breast with fixed nodule immunohistochemistry done her to new positive which stain gives brownish appearance on ihc this question is again and you can say incomplete so i cannot comment on this but remember on the stains we check the amount or degree of the stain if it is positive it is taken as one positive it is moderately increased stain that is taken as two positive or you can say weak and if it is densely stained that is taken as a strong or you can say three positive so this is how we see two positive three positive i don't know about the exact question if you have you can always comment so bilateral adrenalectomy is done for which adenomas remember bilateral adrenalectomy is done 
for bilateral adrenal hyperplasia associated with cons so remember amongst the option provided here it is the cons that is aldosteronoma aldo steronoma which might require do you know what is aldosteronoma and when will you suspect this a patient with poorly controlled hypertension on multiple antihypertensive drugs so they are always suspicious of aldosteronoma and in case of bilateral adrenal hyperplasia we check and if we find bilateral adenomas we may go for bilateral adrenalectomy in this case now open cardiac massage you are doing open cardiac massage and open cardiac massage is done in the er room so remember whenever you do er room open cardiac massage this is considered to be what a clean contaminated so we have class 1 as clean then we have class 2 as clean contaminated and the third category is contaminated wounds so this is option d here that is class 3 wound or contaminated wounds the risk of ssi is 3 to 13% in these patients there was again one question on luminal ac abscess i am not able to recall i have uh, shared this question also this uh, the luminal a1 along the various platforms but yes if i get a question i will definitely share with you and if you think uh, you know the question you can recall the question do comment in the comment section so that was the surgery part of discussion i hope you enjoyed it